your memo and today we're making baked ziti. I've already got some things started so I'll move you over there to the stove so you can see what we're doing. Oh and by the way, wish the puppy dog a happy birthday. Today is his birthday. He's two years old. We still call him puppy or just pup. So his real name is Gunther George Washington Art Vandalay Everett. Um, but we just call him Pub. Okay, so you can see we're browning some ground beef. You can use sausage if you'd like. I have ground beef available, so that's what I'm using. Or you can even make it without any meat at all, which I've done that too. Um, but, and if I was using um, canned tomatoes, I would just use one can. I'd ground the, or brown the ground beef, and then I would uh, just pour the can of tomatoes into it after the, the beef was cooked. But since I'm using fresh tomatoes, I am uh, using two separate pans. So we're browning this ground beef, and while we're doing that, I have some fresh tomatoes cooking in this pan with just a little bit of olive oil and some crushed red peppers. We're just kind of cooking that down just a little bit before we add the ground beef. Now, if you were using cherry tomatoes, they would, uh, they would char really good with, um, a little bit of oil in the pan uh, and they're not as they don't have as much moisture in them so um, they would just the skins would kind of char and you could turn them over and then cook them down a little bit from that point and that really does make it nice but this is what I have so this is what I'm using And as soon as this ground beef is cooked through, we will add it to the tomatoes. I'll bring you back when we have that ready. Now, we, before we put the ground beef in there, I forgot to add that we're putting um, the pasta in there. I'm using ziti. You could use uh, whatever kind of pasta you want to put in here. Um, and a little bit of extra water so that it'll cook up. And what I'll do, because that pasta is going to absorb that water. So I'm going to put a lid on that. And I've got the heat kind of low. And we're just going to let that cook while this ground beef is cooking. As you can see, the pasta is gotten really tender and we've been stirring it ever so often to keep it uh, from sticking to the pan. Now we're going to add our ground beef. And some Parmesan. Now you could use, you know, grate your own Parmesan, but I don't put a whole lot in, of, of this cheese in it, just a little bit for flavor. That's just how I do it. And then you're gonna wanna mix all that up. And I've added a little bit of Italian seasoning and some basil. If I had fresh basil, it would be really good, but I just have dried. And then we're going to add the other cheese, which this is a mixture of mozzarella and some pepper jack, just a little bit of pepper jack. That is just to add a little bit more flavor too. Now you want to mix that just a little bit because 
You want that on the top, mostly. Now this is going into a really hot oven for just a little while until that cheese gets nice and brown on top and then this will be ready. I'll bring you back when it's done. And there it is. Doesn't that look good? I gotta get the papa to come in here and tell him it's time to eat. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Mm -hmm.